By not being prepared, you make the choice of getting caught in some of life's unpleasant circumstances. Failures, personal losses. By not being prepared, it's your choice. Now here's the other side of it. By being prepared, you increase your chances of success. Some people tend to blame others for their mistakes. Concentrate on the work at hand and demand of yourself the discipline to stay focused. If you have a long list of things to get done within a day, do the toughest ones while your concentration is at its peak. Learn your body's rhythms and do the jobs that need the most concentration when you're able to do them best. Use your discipline to keep your mind in line. When you recognize the need to concentrate more, when you recognize this need, it will come easier and easier. Focused concentration can become a habit. Make your mind pay attention. Discipline yourself to be where you are. Work at work and play at play. Don't mix the two. It also reads, don't spend minor time on major things. It's easy to get values mixed up. The man spends three hours watching television and only 30 minutes playing with his kids. Something is probably out of line there, right? It also reads, don't spend major money on minor things. If you spend more on candy than on audio cassettes like this or books, that would be foolish, right? Here is a great goal achieving tip. Don't mistake movement for achievement. It's possible to be busy all day, come home exhausted, and only then realize that very little of your day consisted of productive activities in the pursuit of your goals. Don't get faked out by being busy. The man says, I've been going, going hard all day. I've really put in the hours and the effort. But here's the major question, doing what? It isn't going, going hard all day that counts. It's the doing what? The value that counts. Another essential is concentration. This is one of those difficult things, especially in a society where there are so many voices asking for our attention. The television voices, the radio voices, your family voices, the friends voices, social voices, business voices, advertising, commercials. Isn't it amazing? You can turn off the television and the commercials keep running. How do you turn them off in your mind? That is the challenge to be mastered. The best use of time comes from putting plenty of value in it. And concentration means you take that challenge seriously. It's called careful investment for maximum results. Concentration. The big sports stars will tell you the cost of not concentrating. Just a little slip of concentration and they put one by your feet. And there goes first place and maybe the big money. So writing a letter, concentrate. Making a call, having a conversation. Trying to solve a problem, concentrate. You won't believe the effect this will have on your life. One of the things you see with people all the time is that they're, maybe they're trying to stumble forward towards their ideal, as poorly defined as it might be, but then they're afraid, right? They're afraid about what they might encounter, and that stops them because fear does stop people. It freezes you like a prey animal. People move ahead, but then they get afraid, and then they stop moving ahead. And that's not so good because negative emotion is a really powerful motivator. So we're more motivated by negative emotion than positive emotion, quantitatively speaking. That's, I think, because we can only be so happy, but we can really be suffering and dead, you know? So we have to pay more attention to the negative. And that's bad because the negative can stop you. Your words become your reality. You are where you are today, in part, because of what you've been saying about yourself. Words are like seeds. When you speak something out, you give life to what you're saying. If you continue to say it, eventually that can become a reality. Whether you realize it or not, you are prophesying your future. When you allow the fear of being ostracized, when you allow the fear of stepping outside of your comfort zone, when you allow the fear of failure to hold you back, that's when people stay small. That's when people never really build the life that they were meant to live because they're always from a chemical standpoint, they're allowing themselves to be held back 
by their very humanity, by the very thing that got us here. So deciding as you look at your life, as you look into the future and say, what fears am I holding on to? What fears that I'm allowing to imprison me? That's keeping me from breaking out. That's keeping me from living up to my true potential. That's keeping me from really being happy. That's keeping me from having a sense of adventure and excitement in my life. What's, what's keeping me from controlling my destiny? That we must give our permission to fear to immobilize us. Because whatever discomfort you experience, whatever challenges or difficulty that it is, you got to handle it. You got to go up in there and wrestle with it. Will it be easy? No. Will it be challenging? Yes. A friend of mine who's going into recovery, he's been addicted to crack cocaine for years and alcohol. He was talking about how challenging it was and why he was dreading going, on, going into cold turkey. I said, what do you want me to tell you? That it's going to be a picnic? No, it's not. It's going to kick your butt? Yes, it is. Are you going to want to die? Yes, yes, that's a part of it. But that's just what you must go through in order to get where you want to go. And guess what? You are strong enough to do it. You're strong enough and your life is worth whatever you have to go through to get past this addiction. Whatever you have to do, this dream you got, whatever you want to do, will it be easy to just run out there and do it? No. Will it happen overnight? No. Will it be a struggle? Yes. Will there be times when you can't make ends meet? Yes, that's a part of it. Will there be times you won't know what to do? Yes, that's a part of it. Will you have some opposition? Will things go wrong sometimes? You will have many visits from Murphy. Unless you understand that you've got to push yourself, you're not gonna make your dreams come true. You're just not. We're not wired that way. You weren't born that way. You weren't that way when you were growing up and you're certainly not that way as an adult. And there's a tremendous amount of liberation that comes when you accept the fact that you're always going to need to give yourself a push. You're never, ever, ever, ever going to feel like doing the things you need to do in order to have what you want. You're always going to need to push yourself. You're always going to need to parent yourself. So what is the net advice on this? What, what is the bottom line? The bottom line is no one's coming. No one. No one's coming to push you. No one's coming to tell you to turn the TV off. No one's coming to tell you to get out the door and exercise. Nobody's coming to tell you to apply for that job that you've always dreamt about. Nobody's coming to write the business plan for you. It's up to you. One of the things you gotta understand, my friend, is that you're supposed to fail. You're supposed to fail because failure is the stepping stone to success. You need the logical reason why. Because failure is an experience that lends to wisdom that ultimately makes you a stronger version of yourself. The way you begin each day sets up the way you live each day. I mean, the Spartan warriors said it so well. Sweat more in training, bleed less in war. And if you want to be literally undefeatable in business, literally unstoppable in life, you really want to dial in your morning routine. And so you want to do things like uh, starting the day sweating because that releases BDNF, brain-derived neurotrophic factor that repairs brain cells from stress. You want to sweat because that's going to increase your metabolic rate, which is going to give you energy. And we live in a world where energy is even more valuable than intelligence. You want to, in your morning routine, take the time to write in a journal so you actually can detect your values, reconnect with your goals each day, get to know yourself even more because awareness is the beginning of transformation. And you want to get your morning routine right so you take some time at the front end of your day to learn. Because as you learn more, you know you're going to achieve more. And as you understand better, you can achieve larger.